All right, I just loosely hooked up, loosely hooked up a bolt there. So now I'm just gonna connect uh, the negative side here with a resistor, and I'm just gonna touch that, and we're gonna see what happens on the voltmeter here. Okay, ready? Oh, oh, hang on, I'm missing it. Oh, there we go. 14.45 volts, so yeah, it's somehow limited in there, that's good. So it must have a Zener diode in there then, because uh, otherwise this thing would be going straight up to 16.5. So it's good, I think this charger, these chargers will work in series after all, that's awesome. So I don't know how much current that's uh, passing right now, but we could uh, check that as well with a 100 ohm resistor. Yeah, let's go ahead and check that. Okay, so I got this thing rigged up for current now. I got uh, this 100 ohm resistor here again with one lead on the resistor and one one uh, multimeter lead on the negative lead of the charger there. So we're just going to measure current again here and let's see what we get on the meter. Uh, 16 milliamps. Uh, that, may, that makes sense because um, what we had 14.5 volts or so across the charger and then we had 16.5 volts on the battery, so well, we got like maybe about 2 volts across that 100 ohm resistor. So uh, 16 milliamps, that sounds about right. That pretty much works out. So yeah, we pretty much got um, um, yeah 2 volts right across that uh, 100 ohm resistor there. 16 milliamps makes perfect sense. Pretty much falls Ohm's law, uh, give or take a little bit. So yeah, I think this, these uh, chargers will work after all. I can just hook them up together and um, they'll, they'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it's got a Zener diode in there somewhere, so maybe like a 14.5 volt Zener diode or something. It's probably actually a bit lower than that, probably like a 14.4 or 14.3. The, um, the higher voltage Zener diodes have a pretty sharp turn on, so it's uh, probably reasonably close to that 14.5 volts. So yeah, these chargers will work. Awesome. These will be kind of like my um, really slow charging slash backup chargers. I'll, I'll definitely get a, a big fast charger in the end, but uh, that's not really important right now. I'll wait till later to get that. So, yep, these will work. Perfect. And I thought I'd just get a closer view of these uh, bus bars here. So they got multiple layers of copper, and I guess that's to make it more flexible, because they actually are quite flexible considering how thick uh, they are in the end. And um, one hole is just perfectly round, they just drilled that through, and the other round is kind of uh, oval, uh, an oval shape, it's kind of elongated, so that uh, if you have any um, kind of variance in your battery widths or anything, like it'll, it'll just be fine. So uh, yeah, and they got a, a bend in it there to give it some, uh, um, some, some more uh, like strain relief, I guess, some more movement, and I guess it'll help bridge uh, any kind of um, any kind of bump at the um, cell cell uh, edge here. So yeah, these things are actually quite nice. Um, I like them. And not only that, they uh, the distributor I got got them from uh, included bolts as well. So that's perfect. I was thinking I would have to get my own bolts, but uh, the fact that they uh, threw them in there was pretty awesome. So yeah, I don't have to worry about bolts either. I can just uh, I'll bolt everything up. So. Perfect. All right. 